Okay, so Netflix and chilling. I've been binging on Gilmore Girls. I'm going through all seven seasons, so it's quite of an endeavor. But what I love about Gilmore Girls is that um, it, the two main characters, Lorelai and Rory, it's a mother and daughter relationship. And they look alike, they're kind of alike, and they share everything about their lives with each other. And that fascinates me because I don't have that with my mom. I think my mom and I are very, very different. For one thing, like she's a terrible driver. Like I, she's the quintessential like Asian driver, drives with two feet because she's scared of everything. And so, oh my God, something might pop out and you have to be prepared to have your foot on the brake. It sucks. <laughs> um, but because she's such a terrible driver, I try very hard to be a very good driver. So I'm always on my seatbelt. Um, but also what makes us different, she was born in Vietnam, so she's, you know, fresh off the boat, and, like, she's just super weird, like, and I, I just, I just can't connect, I wasn't born in Vietnam, I'm not super weird, I'm born in America, I'm an American, all right, and as a kid, like, I really wanted to assimilate to other Americans, people with normal names, you know, like Jennifer, but, it was very hard for me to assimilate when my name is spelled T-H-I, supposed to be pronounced T, and when the substitute teacher says my name out loud as thigh, and all the kids laugh at me, and I realize that, oh my God, I can't belong, it just hurts, right? I mean, she kept, she just, she just kept doing that. Like she, I think in field trip, like, you know, all the other kids would have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lunchables, and then my mom packs me a fucking bun mi sandwich. Like, I don't like bun mi sandwich. I know that it's like in now, but I fucking hated it. Like, ugh. And all the kids would look at me and it's like, what is that? And I was like, I don't know. Like, it's a green thing. Apparently, it's cilantro now. Like, I don't know. Um, so it's one thing for my mom to be weird. It's another thing to like spread her weirdness on me. And I just did not want to be a fob like her, you know? And I didn't, and so because of that, I really tried to separate myself away from my mom. Um, and that's why I grew up not being very close to her. So we fast forward to like college and then I grew up and matured and realized that to be cool was actually to be different. And what made me different or unique was actually being Vietnamese. And also around that time, like traveling looked really cool and traveling to Southeast Asia looked even more appealing because it's super cheap over there. I'm a millionaire. Um, and I had some friends living in um, Vietnam. So I was like, sweet, you know, I'm gonna go over there and have free room, free board. And the same time that I decided to go to Vietnam, my weirdo parents, my mom and my dad, decided to go to Vietnam too. And they both hadn't been back in like 30 years. So I'm like, look, I'm not above not tagging along on their trip as well, because they know people in Vietnam. So great, I can tag along and I can have more free room, free board. So we all go to Vietnam together and I'm like the excited American, yeah. Let's go to the museum, let's learn something. And my dad, who's a war vet, says no, it's all propaganda. It's like, okay, fine, um, let's go eat something. Oh my God, Vietnamese food. And my mom's like, no, because she's scared of everything, you'll get diarrhea. I brought you ramen, instant ramen. I'm like, again, with the food, mom, like, she's terrible. I did not come all the way from America to Vietnam to eat instant ramen. So I said, no, fine, what do you guys want to do? And my mom, actually, my mom says, well, we can go see the house where I used to live in. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that seems really cool. Um, my dad decides to hang out with his war buddies, so it's just me and my mom, and we take a taxi, and in the taxi car, like, she's describing about this house that she used to live in. She's one of nine kids, um, so it was, a, it was a full house, you know, it, and it was a fun house. It's one of the biggest house on the block. It had two stories, and they knew all the neighbors, and everybody was coming in and out, always welcomed, and they were always playing the Beatles, like, they love the Beatles. And so she was really looking forward to seeing this house. And we get there, and it's not a beautiful house. It's dilapidated, it's run down, like there's a balcony on top, and it's just filled with junk and trash and like old chairs and bits, and it's just not nice. Um, and then I look over at my mom, and like, you know, she has this like, just 
her mouth is open, but she's not saying anything. And there's just this huge frown. It's just like almost like a shocked feel, like face where, and I'm just like, are you okay? And she says, no. Like, I don't, I want to go home. Yeah, you know, we just got here. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And I was like, no, like, this isn't my home. I want to go home. I'm like, but we just got here. I want to go home. But, like, we have people to see, you know. I've never been here. And she's like, I don't care. I want to go home. I don't like it here. And in that moment, I realized that, like, you know, she feels like she also doesn't belong. Just like when I couldn't feel, when I felt like I didn't belong. And in that moment, I realized that we're much more similar than we're different. Um, but it was just, it was really interesting, too, that she was sharing this vulnerability with me. Just like, you know, Gilmore Girls, like, you know, mother and daughter relationship, and they share their problems with each other. Um, we got over that hump, we talked about it, I comforted her back into the taxi cab, and we went shopping, and it was a really sweet Vietnam trip, and after that Vietnam trip, I decided to close the gap that I had placed between us so long ago. And now, to this day, like, you know, we FaceTime. I've never FaceTime with my mom before. Um, we watch Gilmore Girls, and then I also drive instead of her, so thank you. <laughs> T-Win, ladies and gentlemen.